Hi, D. Hi, Terry. Hi, Caroline. Hi, June. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, interesting. All right. Yeah, if you guys missed it, Leah did a little Facebook. Um, live today showing how easy it is to do birthday cards. Here are the cards that she made up close. So these are the happy birthdays I did last night. And so we just did some foilables background and doesn't that look great with that rainbow holographic foil on there? And these are all foilables that are on there. So if a seven-year-old can do it, there is no reason why you guys can't do it. Don't be afraid of your machines. They're very, very easy to do. All right, so yeah, she did a fabulous job. All right, so today I wanted to talk about... Um, these are Tezza Holographic premium vinyls. Um, Elizabeth, your new logo works great. So we're going to try that one out today. I've already done a couple samplings of it, but I'll show you the colors. I already used one of these colors. Well, I can show it to you. It's right here. Um, so I hope these are the right names. I don't know. I think this one is golden hour. So it's gold, but it's kind of holographic. So it has a little bit of orange shimmer to it. Um, this one, I think, God, I think this one's funky orange. Oh, I don't know if these names are in the right, you know what? Hold on. I have another package I didn't open yet. And I think I changed the order of these. So let me grab that or, you know, what? let me just say what they are and then we'll guess which is which it doesn't really matter. All right. So the colors are golden out. There's 16 sheets. Golden Hour, Funky Orange, Tricky Orange, Lime Green, which I know is this one, Opal, Lemonade, Yellow, Juicy Peach, fan Fantasy Green, Shocking Pink. This one has some gold and orange to it. Um, Bubblegum Pink, Frostberry Red. This one is like teal and pink. It's hard to explain, but it has some teal in one light and then pink in the other light. It's like color shifting. Uh, electric sky blue, shady lilac, mint green, emerald green, aqua blue. So I don't know what, what goes with what, but they're very kind of neon, holographic, iridescent is the best way to explain it. Um, that one I think was shocking pink. This is probably bubblegum pink. I uh, know this is bubblegum pink or iridescent, but you can see if you've ever used those uh, shimmer sheets, that's what they're like. But this is permanent vinyl. This one again has some teal in it and some kind of purple in it. Hi, Suzette. They are crazy bright and shiny, but they're very cool because I wouldn't say holographic, but iridescent is the best way that I can use. They're, they definitely color shift based on the light. This one's like blue and then purple and then gold. This one's like pink and purple. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. And then we have some gold and orange, a yellow orange. And then, ooh, this one's a teal. 
This one's a darker teal with a green in it, and then this one's blue. So lots of bright colors. They're very, very fun. The sheets are large. What are these? I think these are 12 by 12 sheets. So you get 16 self-adhesive vinyl sheets. They're 12 by 12. They say they're holographic PVC multicolor. I would say they're more iridescent than holographic. Um, it doesn't say if they are permanent or temporary. Um, but anyway, I also have some transfer tape and we're going to use that as well. So let me, I already cut some out with this green color and you guys saw I had one stuck on my mini Misty. Let me bring that one out. The problem was the smaller letters on the outside of the mini Misty because of the detail in them. Um, it was very hard to weed, okay? But this is the lime green, so you can see it's really shiny, really cool. So I asked Elizabeth to redesign, and she did. She made this a little bigger, changed the font, so it still looks really cool. And I wanted to show it to you guys, and I think I'm going to use... Let's use this pink color here. It's like neon, orangey, pinky kind of color, which is cool. And then I'm going to cut it out with Baby Joy. So let me get my big trimmer out. Ooh, Karen. Lee and I went to the lake and didn't catch anything. We caught one little crappy and that was it. Um... We had a little meeting. I kind of told them what was going on, and I'll go over that with you guys in a minute. I just want to get this started, and then I'll talk to you guys about it. I was debating coming on, you guys. I was really like, nah, maybe I'll just take a break tonight. But I get super excited about this... Um, about this uh, logo, so I wanted to get it done. All right. And I will link these, I do have affiliate links for you guys. And I think my discount code is 10% until the 18th. It's Nancy Stamps 4. All right, so I have Baby Joy here. Now watch this. Ready, set. <laughs> That's what we're going to make. Isn't that cool? Isn't that pretty? Everybody tell Elizabeth she's amazing. Because she is. All right, so what I'm going to do, let me bring my phone over here. I can't exactly see um, chats right now, so talk amongst yourselves. And I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to do New Project. And I'm going to do an Upload. And I already have it uploaded here. Insert. I'm going to move it up to the corner here. I'm going to make sure that everything is um, together by hitting attach. You guys are so proud of me. I'm like getting, getting this down. And I want to make it a little smaller than four inches so it fits. Okay, so we're going to do right there. Then we're going to hit make it on the mat. So it's just smaller than four inches. And then I'm going to hit continue. It's going to pair with my baby Joy. Successfully connected. And then I'm going to use um, Smart to Vinyl is I think what I used before. Permanent Smart Vinyl is what I used. I'm going to load this. I have it on the long mat.
And then when it's ready, I'm going to hit cut. See, I'm learning to do things here, slowly but surely. Who surely? All right, so while that's cutting, I'm just going to move it off to the side here. I do want to address what happened. Hopefully that's not too loud. So um, last night during the live, you know, and I have done this more than one time, guys, where... Leah has, Leah basically goes through my phone and she scrolls and she usually picks, um, you know, she will pick some, uh, a picture she likes or a comment that she likes or whatever she chooses, which to me is random, right? It doesn't matter. She doesn't know you guys. She doesn't know your name. She doesn't know who comments, you know? So she's just picking just to pick. She's seven years old. So when... Not only was there a comment that, um, you know, was like boo, booing the winners, which was just, you know, uncalled for. Apparently, people were complaining to other people in the group who did come to me and said, hey, just so you know, there were some concerns raised about Leah picking names. And I was like, what? And, um, you know, I did say I was going to use the random generator. Here's the thing. You cannot use random generator on live chats. Hey, Stace, I know. I changed my mind. I did a surprise. So random generator can only be used after the video is done recording, okay? So that's why I have Leah pull the names. And, um, you know, I like you guys know, I fly by the seat of my pants. I just do things on a whim. And I think that's fun for all of us. You know, I think it's fun if you can hear your name being called out live versus waiting for a, ra a random generator. So, um, if you guys, you know, want me to do the random generator, that's fine. What we would have to do is I have to pick a video. Everybody has to put a comment after the video is done. And then a couple days later, I can then pick a winner from there. I can do a random generator on there. I'm fine with that. I just thought doing it live, doing it by the seat of our pants um, was way more fun, right? So um, it just made me a little upset to hear that, you know, people were acting that way after I had already said, like, this channel is about fun. This channel is not going to be like everybody else's channel. This is not a sponsored channel. I had very generous donations from so many people, from Bernie, from Lee, from Sue. Um, so many of you guys, I can't even name everybody that sent stuff because there's so many boxes still coming. You know, John sent a lot of stuff. I know I'm forgetting several people, but, you know, you guys all donated to the greater good of this. And it really, like, hurt my feelings to have somebody, like, say that. And you guys know I'm very thick-skinned, and most of the time I would have been, like, be gone. Um, but I do want it to be fair. I don't want anybody to think that it wasn't being fair. So, um, I had a meeting with the admins today, and we talked about it, and... Um, unfortunately we did have to let somebody out of the group. I did not want to have to go that route, but it is what it is. Um, so hopefully we won't have this issue again. The other issue I want to bring up is yes, um, everything is sold out at Creative Vision Stamps. Again, she is retiring. Yes, I understand some people are kind of freaking out and like, where are we going to get foils from? What are we going to do about foils? Um, and it is on my radar, but it's not at the top of my agenda right now, okay? I am not going to go chasing down a foil company and be like, oh my God, can you feed our foiling addiction? So if you are getting messages or comments or just in general feel uncomfortable by one of our members, please let me know. I will keep your information totally anonymous. Um, but I'll handle it. So I do know that, you know, there's talk of someone that is in our group and kind of self-soliciting. Um, you know, I am keeping an eye on that person, but I'm not going to tolerate it. Laura has been there for me, has given me a chance to be on her design team, has taught me how to do foiling, has the be the best foil, not because she's my friend, but because she has the best foil, you guys. Um, so she's going to retire in two weeks. 
you know, we don't need to be trying to self-solicit, um, you know, to, well, I'm going to buy all of these foils. Do you want to go in with me? And I'm going to find, that's just rude. Okay. And I am going to say it is my channel. I will do what I want. I worked very hard to get where I'm at. I love all of my subscribers. You know, I don't consider you guys subscribers. A lot of you, I consider friends. Like I had phone calls with Stacy. I've I've met Tracy. I have phone calls with Tracy. Terry and I have talked for a long time. Bonnie and I have talked for a long time. Um, we promoted Chow today. In case you guys didn't know, Chow is now one of the moderators for um, my page and my channel to help us out. So it's not just a page to have fun, but I put a lot of man hours. Blood, sweat, tears, financially, emotionally into this channel, you guys. And it just really breaks my heart that one or two people can jump on here and be like, oh, let me befriend all these people and either try to sell stuff or on the opposite end, try to get free stuff out of it. And and that's, that's not what we're about. That's not what we're going to do here. Um, I've been in the car business for 20 years. I can smell a bullshitter. So... I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not going to have you guys have to put up with it. If you ever feel that you are uncomfortable or someone is just not doing right, just let me or one of the moderators know. So we have Stacy, Tracy, and Chow that's going to help us out. Because I'm going to have to go back to work. Tracy's working. Stacy's going back to work, you know. So we'll be around. But it's nice if you have multiple people to talk to. So... Anyway, <laughs> look at Elizabeth's new design. She changed our font here. Did you see how easy that was to weed? Yes, it is amazing. So all we're going to do now is I just have to pick out the tiny little circles, which are really not even that big of a deal. And I got to say, this vinyl is amazing. Well, I like Artez's vinyl. I use their heat transfer vinyl, and I make all the kids' shirts and stuff. Um... And I've used their regular vinyl, like for making decals. Like I've made decals to put on my friends' cars and things like sports teams and stuff like that. I made the um, Star Wars logos, things like that. So this is just another fun thing. But when they came out with these iridescent colors, I was like, oh, I got to have that. And as soon as I opened the package, I was like, that's why I wanted this logo to be correct. I really like the circle logo. But... I want to weed these. I want to make these. I want to send them to you guys. So I wanted it to be something that I could do fairly easy. Um, so that you guys can have one. And then you can stick it on wherever you want. You can stick it on your Misty. I know some people don't want to do that because they want to be able to see through the Misty. You can put it on top of your mink machine. Let me bring my other mink in here. Oh, I didn't even think about that, Elizabeth. So you can see this is the perfect. So I have the old one here where I couldn't get the circle to work out. But this, ooh, 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 ooh. I want to peel this other stuff off now. Be gone. You're just not FSC quality. Hold on. This is just regular Cricut glitter vinyl. And I also want to thank every single one of you for your words of encouragement, your words of support, um, all of you guys who commented in the post. And then, you know, a lot of you sent me emails, sent me private messages that said, you know, we're sorry you went through this. You know, um, we appreciate you. And I will say the, the person did apologize to me and I do accept their apology, but to me, it was just a culmination of a couple things that happened this week that I just had to make that decision, unfortunately. And like I said, it, it did have a nice discussion with the admins today about it, and we all agreed that that was, at this time, the best decision, um, unfortunately, that we had to make for the greater good of everybody. And... Um, I will say in the, how many years have I been doing this now? Four years? Five years? I haven't been doing this very long, you guys. 
Um, there has only been, other than bots and, you know, like scammers, bots and just, you know, stupid people, there has only been one person that I have truly had to block out of everything. Um, this woman not only harassed me, she harassed Tracy, she harassed Laura, she harassed um, many other manufacturers. And so her name, you know, by the time it got to me, had already begun harassing other people and she started off as a very nice person and then just basically turned into a nightmare. The woman was very nasty to me. She sent nasty emails to me. She sent nasty emails to Tracy. And so, you know, I don't want to have to block people because like I said, I do this for fun. It's a hobby. But if I feel like you have a different agenda, if you're not being respectful of me or my friends, um, and I just cannot get along with you for whatever reason, I'm sorry. You got to go. You got to go. When you're rocking the boat, you got to go. So, and I only ever had to do that with that, that other lady was so just incredibly mean previously. That was a year ago. Um, and that's kind of where I felt like this was going. And it may not have gone there, but I just was not comfortable with it. And then, like I said, the, the rest of you guys, some of you were like texting me like, uh, somebody's saying stuff and you know, um, uh, let me just wipe this down real quick. They do. Some people just stink. I mean, and Lee and I did go to the lake, and we were doing some fishing. And I was like, well, should we go back? And I was just going to hang out with her. But she just wanted me to put some fake nails on her. So I put some fake nails on her, and now she's, like, doing her own thing over there. So she's as happy as a clam. Just using a little undo to try to clean up some of this residue. This little mink is so old. I mean, so old. It's probably like five years old, but my poor little minky mink has been through so much with me. So much foil has gone through this mink. you diana <laughs> yeah ryan it was white like all the rather all the rest now this is a anna griffin gold one and at that time all you could get was the large one from heidi or the small one from anna griffin you couldn't get a small one from heidi All right, so just a reminder for those of you that are getting the minks. I know some of, the, of you guys have ordered it online. Um, when you turn it on, there's a power button on the back here. You're going to turn that power button on. And then you're going to hold this down. Well, you want to turn it on. <laughs> and then you're going to hold this down and it will, you know, it helps when it's plugged in, Nance. Jeez. Yeah, gold or white, it's the same exact machine. It doesn't matter. It's just um, Anna Griffin's contract with them is over, so she doesn't sell it anymore. She sells the Glaminator. Just garbage. All right, now we turn it on. Turn this on first. Here we go. <laughs> and then press this down. Some of them turn red. Mine's an older one, so it'll just blink, and then when it's done, it'll stay green. The other one I have will turn red and then turn green when it's ready, but it'll stay lit when it's ready. Zero is no heat, it's just pressure. The one that I use most of the time is three. Yes, I'm powerless, it's true. And then when I'm done, I turn it off and I do unplug it. <clears throat> All right, so then how do we transfer this? It's very easy to do. We take some of the Arteza transfer tape I'm going to show you guys. And I've been using this same piece, you guys, for like five stickers, and it's great. 
Um, here's how it comes. I showed it to you guys before. It comes in 12 by 20 feet. So it's 12 inches by 25 feet rolls, transfer tape. Um, it is clear and it comes with a little squeegee thing in there in the roll. Shipping is super fast. Where'd my little squeegee thing go? I thought I put it in here. Oh, maybe I didn't put it back in here. Well, there is a little squeegee thing that comes with it. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, um, if you're going to get any of their vinyl, or I would recommend this transfer tape as well, because it is a lot, and it's way better. I had a really big problem with the Cricut transfer tape. I was so angry. I wasted so much time with the Cricut transfer tape, and... Um, this is just much easier to use. Better release, I should say. <clears throat> All right, so you just take your vinyl. You, I mean your transfer tape. You put that over your vinyl. You take your little squeegee tool, the plastic side, and you just kind of rub it down. You're going to push the air bubbles out. And you're going to get that clear transfer tape to stick to your vinyl. And then this is how I would mail it to you guys. And then you would apply it. The way that you would apply it is, yeah, Cricut transfer tape is garbage. Everything's garbage. Um, is you line it up, you know, where you want it. Then you're going to pull this off. Now, like I said, this is like the fourth time I've used this. So I don't know if it's going to continue to stick. I might miss a couple letters here. But the first couple times I used it, I had no problems. It was just peel and go. But now it's losing some of its stick because I did use it for like four stickers. Look at that release. Easy, easy weeding, easy release. Ta-da! Okay. And then you just line it up where you want it. It's like almost perfect there. And then you take your squeegee again, and you can use the soft side or the rough side, uh, the plasticky side. There's like a little felt side. Whatever you need to do to rub the bubbles out. And then you just pull this back on itself. And everything should stay where you want it. And then you can just, again, take this soft side and just kind of press everything down so you're not scratching any of your letters off. And then we have our beautiful logo. Yes, I will post links for you guys. Yeah, so I'm going to start cutting these and I'm going to start mailing them out to you guys. You don't need to do anything. I have most everybody's address from previous card exchanges and cards that you guys have sent me. And in a couple of weeks, um, once I have sent out the majority of them, because right now I have like 100 people. So um, I will put a little post in our Facebook group, which is Foiling and Stamping Fun. And I'll say... Who wants one and, um, you know, send them out to you guys. So you don't need to do anything. I'm just going to work on this a couple at a time every day. Stick them in the mail to you guys and you'll just get one for being awesome. So Elizabeth, thank you so much because that is so much easier to weed and to do. And we were able to keep our design versus this one with the smaller letters. I like the design. I just couldn't weed those smaller letters. So now it's nice bubble letters that are easy to weed. And you can stick it wherever you want. You can stick it on your mink. You can stick it on your misty. You can stick it on your desk. You can stick it on your car. I don't care where you stick it. It's your sticker. Just don't put it on the toilet seat, okay? <laughs> Okay. 
So yes, I will put links for the holographic vinyl and for the Arteza transfer tape. They also sent me um, foam tape, which I've been using, and I'll link that for you guys too. Um, the foam tape is huge. It's 36 yards of foam tape. And it's really easy to pull the liner off because this red liner is thick. This red liner here is really thick, so it's very easy to pull off of this foam tape, even with my nasty nails. Look at that. So it's a much thicker liner, so it's very easy to pull this foam tape off. So I'll link this for you, too. I mean, this will last you a little while. Yeah, Karen, that's what I've been comparing it to. I actually like it because what I noticed is with the Scott's one, um, first of all, I think, again, with always with Arteza, their price value point is better. The Scott's, I couldn't find a big enough roll. I could only find like this four to six inch rolls. And it was like $15. Um, so, and... I noticed the Scott's roll over time starts to smell a little old. I don't know if you guys get that. It smells kind of acidic. Um, you know, like old tape. It just turns yellow and it smells weird. So that was the other thing. Um, and this doesn't... I, I mean, I've only had this for two weeks, but... Um, Arteza sends to Europe. I think they have a UK site. I don't know if they send internationally. I have to find out. Yeah, see, the Scots gets a little smelly, right? Yeah. Um, let me try to go. I'm just trying to log back in so I can read you guys' comments without having to be up on my tippy toes here. Hold on. Thank you, Caroline. You didn't have to do that, sweetheart. Okay, live chat just popped up. Uh, let's see here. Who's here? Bernie's here. Hi, Bernie. Oops. What's going on here? Don't forget, oh, I wanted to remind you guys, I'm glad Karen's here. So Tracy is really close to 1,000. Karen is also really close to 1,000. So Karen, um, if you want to link your Facebook page, or uh, your, um, your YouTube and your blog, Karen, um, Karen is a hoot. I love watching Karen's videos because, let's face it, Karen, it always sounds like you just had a glass of wine. <laughs> But um, Karen's, um, she specializes in Stampin' Up! stuff. So you guys know I kind of dabble in Stampin' Up! Karen does a really, really good job at showing the versatility in the Stampin' Up! set. So please, everybody, subscribe to Karen. Um, that's her channel there, Karen on the Lake Stamper. <laughs> um, so, yes. Yeah, um, YouTube went through and removed a lot of people. I think they thought people were being subscribed as bots, so it didn't happen just to her. It happened to my channel, too. So you want to go in and make sure that you turn. Just double-check that you have. You might have to resubscribe. Bernie, how's Dobby doing? Uh, let me see if I can find Karen's channel and link it for you guys. Hold on. So Karen and Tracy, you guys need to subscribe to. Here we go. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Karen's at 706. I didn't even pre-order any of the new 
Ugh, stamping up stuff. I gotta get on that. Alright, so that's Karen's channel. If everybody can go over there and get... Make sure you're subscribed to her. Don't forget to give me my thumbs up, you guys. <laughs> you know Leah's gonna ask. And... Let me find Tracy's again, although I think most of you are subscribed to Tracy's. There she is. Ooh, Tracy's up to 837, and she's going to do a giveaway at 1,000. I linked it, Karen. I linked it above. No, we didn't get, we caught one little crappy. Aw, that's great, Bernie. Poor Dobby. So we have Karen, we have Tracy, and not too shabby, who Tracy and I are part of the design team. She's almost to 10,000. So I'll give you guys that one too. That's Jamie. She is sweet. I love Jamie. She's so sweet. Share, copy link. Cause it's not like you guys don't have enough to do right. but <laughs> So we want to support the YouTubers. We want to support the crafty people. So there's three on there. Not too shabby. Tracy's and Karen's for you guys. Because you guys know, when I go back to work and get back on the road again, you're going to have to deal with me not being here. <laughs> yes, now all three, Tina. <laughs> yeah, I know, Caroline. I'm trying to fill your YouTube with everybody. And remember, when you subscribe here, I'll show you. When you go on their channel, I'm going to use Karen's as an example. Let me unsubscribe and then read. Or Tracy's here. Um, unsubscribe. Okay, so when you go on the YouTube, what you're going to do is not only are you going to click subscribe, you're going to click this little bell. And when you click the little bell, you want to click all. And then what it will do is it will email you when we post the video or when we're live. Tracy and Karen can't do lives until they get to 1,000 subscribers. So they're not that far away. We got to get them to 1,000 so that they can do lives. And Tracy and I were talking today about doing some kind of a live together. Um Aw, yeah, I like Not Too Shabby. I just got the new My Favorite Things um, gnomes from them, so I'm waiting for those to come in. Chow will have to talk you into it. So, yeah, I used Little Baby Cricket to decorate the... Um, the little machines here to make them all pretty. Now I want to change all of them because all this red on here now looks ugly when I can put like blue holographic vinyl on here. But I'm going to, what I'm actually going to do is, is take these and go cut them out on the scan and cut. That's right. I said scan and cut. I'm going to use it and I'm going to cut out. I can probably cut out how many? Well, if they're just four inches, I can probably get nine on a sheet, right? So if I can get nine on a sheet, you know, we'll see what I can do. Uh, Janice, Tracy's link was up, but hold on, I'll link it again for you.
Well, Stacy's going to give me private classes on the <laughs> scan and cut. So once I figure it out, then I'll be happy to share with you guys. Well, what do you guys want a class on? Always go funky, Brenda, because you can buy practical anywhere. Candace, what do you want classes on? You don't have to pay me. Just tell me what you would like to see, and I will do it for you. Ooh, alcohol inks and foiling. Ooh. Well, yeah, we can do cards together. That's what I said. We need to find a way to do, like, a giant Zoom where we can all hang out and craft together. Caroline, I thought we were going fishing. <laughs> Anytime, Karen. I'm going to order some of the new stuff, so we'll do like a Stampin' Up! collab. The glue eraser. I can show you that. In fact, Leah and I had a little boo-boo today. So here's the glue eraser. So let's say, hypothetically, you have this really cool background. And... You ha it only works on certain adhesive, by the way. Permanent adhesive is not going to work. But this is like a dotto adhesive. So can you see that adhesive where it's like little dots? You see that? So let's say I put that on there. I'm like, oh, you know what? That's not straight. That's not where I want it. It's just not going to deal with this at all. And I go to peel it off. But I don't want this glue just sitting on there. You just take the eraser and you erase. I like erasing towards me in short strokes. And what it does is it actually lifts the adhesive and the adhesive sticks to the eraser like little boogies. And then you just pick those off and throw them away. Now, if it gets too bad, you can just take scissors and cut that corner off. But I like to pull it towards me and kind of ball it up. See, and then it lifts it all up. And then I have the little glue ball on here. And then I just throw it out. This thing's really old. This is my original one. And, you know, that's when you use it. Or let's say you use, I don't have any. I'm out of Tombow glue. I got to get some Tombow glue. Um, but that Tombow multimedia glue or the Zig two-way glue. So that glue. Okay, so you're going to see it when it dries. It'll dry clear. But you want to let it dry completely, and then we can take the eraser and erase that off of there. Hold on, I'm just trying to catch up on my text. All right, so is this almost dry? This is almost dry. 
Oh, I haven't. We can do that real quick, Susan. Good idea. Hold on. Yeah, just do short strokes, and I like to pull it towards me. Sandy Racer's different. Sandy Racer is just really abrasive. Hi, Terry. Hi, Marco. Does Marco like his new haircut? Terry, I mailed you your birthday card, honey. All right, you know what? Well, let's do that. You guys asked. Let me just move this aside for one second. All right, let me clean up the desk. We'll do a little pan pastel demo. Because I know a lot of you guys ordered from Blue Night Rubber Stamps, and we're all super excited. But I do have the new stamps on my desk. You know what else I have on my desk that I can't show you? Four brand new stamps from Kitchen Sink Stamps. You guys, they're so beautiful. But I can't show you those. But I can show you the Blue Night Stamps because... They're out. You can get the Blue Knight rubber stamps. All right, let me just move my pretty vinyls out of the way here. And again, that's holographic. And I will link it for you guys. Um, let me move Baby Joy out of the way. I have stuff everywhere, you guys. The desk is a mess. I'm still weeding turtles. I have not given up on the turtles. I'm still weeding the turtles slowly. I get my country music going. Or my 80s. I think I've got my daughter liking the 80s now because now she's she knows some of the songs. And I'm like, how you know that? And she's like, you play it all the time. Make room. All right, so once this is dry, just to show you this adhesive right there. Can you see that? You just pull, same thing, you use the eraser, you pull it down, and it kind of rolls up the sticky stuff. And so even though there's a line there, there's no more adhesive, there's the adhesive. So it's not, it's not sticky anymore. So that is a cool little invention. I'll link one of those for you guys too when I do the links. Um, okay, you guys asked for... Who got a raccoon? What are you guys talking about? Who got a raccoon? <laughs> Tina, I think that's all of us, honey. Yes. Oh, Bonnie. She said your card was mauled yesterday. I'm like, what? Did the dog eat it? <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Tracy got yelled at today. We're going to do this easy one. This is just another way we're going to be able to cope when the foiling goes away until Christmas anyway. We're going to be able to cope by doing some pan pastels. Janice wants a baby raccoon. Aren't they nasty little things? Where is... Where's my new eraser? Uh, 
uh, one of those instances where I put things away. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I knew it was there somewhere. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's right. You're not spending money. You're supporting the economy. Great, chow. So I have regular 80 pound Nina Solar White Classic Crest, 80 pound. I'm going to cut this to, oh, let's do five by three and three quarters. Yeah, that should be big enough. I wanted to show you here is the little pencil eraser thing you do put a couple batteries in the back here two little triple a batteries and then this just screws back on you just turn it and then you hold this down and then the eraser moves it's very quiet it's very light and then um it has This was fairly ex inexpensive. I want to say it was around $15. Um, but it came with a little duster brush. But here was the, the cool thing. Oh, come on. Um, it came with the larger erasers and I have one of these little pen erasers that you like click on it's kind of the same thing but um this one I have a bigger one somewhere too here it is so I have these guys the little push-up erasers so I have a smaller one and a larger one but this comes with all of these um, replaceable erasers and the tools to take them out. And then it came with all these little tiny erasers. So it came with a whole bunch of refill erasers. So that was cool. And I'll link that. I got it off of Amazon and a little brushy thing to brush the dust away. But um, Lynn, actually, Blue Knight Rubber Stamp said, you got to get one of these electric erasers, Nance. You got to try them. So I was like, okay. All right. So Nina Solar White cut to five by three and three quarters, 80 pound classic crest, smooth cardstock. This is, this is the cardstock I use for most everything, you guys. I'm going to stamp. This is one of the new ones. This is called Seagulls and Driftwood. They are high quality red rubber stamps. They always come on this laminated heavy duty backer sheet so you don't lose them. And then this one has a seagull attached and two separate seagulls. I'm just gonna do the main image for today's demonstration. And we're gonna use Mini Misty. And it's always a good idea to use a stamp positioner when you're using pan pastels because that um, chalky finish from the pan pastels, sometimes you need to stamp over it and you need to stamp your outline image again. So it's just fun to have this. Hi. You look so tall and skinny in shorts. Yeah, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Where's my baby? I want my little baby Leah back. Show them my nails. Oh, you want to show them your big girl nails? Go ahead, show them your big girl nails. Look at her big girl nails. <laughs> Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Bye. Bye. Love you. See you later. So I'm going to ink up with VersaFine Claire, of course. Let me get my little handle. I hope you guys took advantage of the 20% off sale. Um, it did expire yesterday, but if you took advantage, you should have gotten some handles. 
They really make a difference when it comes to stamping. <laughs> Bonnie, you will enjoy it. Oh, good. Diana got her handle. Cool. Oh, that stamped out pretty good. All right, so I'm actually going to pull this whole thing out. Remember, I have this laminated because I'm going to do my color and leave my stamp in there. And we'll fix it later. Um... So I have a couple different sets. So Blue Night Rubber Stamps sells two sets of pan, stel, pan pastels. They sell the Sunrise Sunset, which is um, the reds, orange, pinks. Um, you get some browns and you get a white. And these are the extra colors I got, which are bronze, gold, and pearl. They also sell a day and night palette. The day and night palette are these colors you see here and I always recommend getting the colorless blender okay um, um, because that just helps smooth everything out they were $50 and they had the 20% off sale now I have amassed quite of a collection here just because I pick up odds and end colors um, from Blick Art Store but also I don't know if you guys know this or not but Spellbinders um, is selling these. So I'll put my link for Spellbinders for you too if you want to pick up some of these other colors. This was the Nature Palette. So it has more neutral colors. They're not as bright, but I think they look really nice when you're doing some of these nature scenes. So you can pick up some other ones. For those of you not familiar with Pan Pastels, they are a very finely milled chalk, but they are not dusty like a chalk. They're artist qualities. If you join there, if you look up uh, art done by Pan Pastels, you, you would fall on the floor. It looks like photographs. Um, they're just so beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to grab some colors and then put them down. And I still have this stuck on here with this little double adhesive tape on here. So I want to keep that on there. Actually, I don't want any of the pan pastel sticking to that. So I'm just going to put a little piece of purple tape just to protect my edges here. Because otherwise, I'm going to get pan pastels everywhere. Because my sticky tape, my uh, sticky grid there is all exposed. Okay, here we go. So then I have a variety of different, um, they're called soft tools. They're designed for pan pastels. They really do work great. I have tried other kind of, you know, blending sponges, makeup sponges, um, some work better than others. You just really kind of have to experiment with them. But I do like these little tools. I think that they do come in handy. That's my other eraser. Q-tips, things like that. Oh, Caroline, don't give me those kinds of ideas. <laughs> that would be awesome, though. All right, so I'm just going to grab a little piece. I don't know why that's angled like that, but I don't like that. So guess what I'm going to do? Take care of that. All right, so I think this is yellow thalo, yellow ochre, which is kind of a sandy yellow color. So, and a little bit goes a very long way. And if you don't like it, you just erase it. And if you want more, you add more. And they're totally blendable. Okay, so I got a little bit on my tree there, which I don't want. So I'm going to take my little eraser. It sounds like the nail lady doing my nails. Oh, it's gone. That's cool.
I like using the Nina Solar White. Again, you can use anything, but I, for me, I like it smooth. I know some artists use what's called pastel matte, which is a matte coated paper. Um, and you want either set it with a clear gloss spray or matte spray, like basically a clear hairspray or um, hairspray. And follow Blue Night Rubber Stamps because Michelle, who's in charge of our design team, is going to be posting some videos. Um, I'm also going to go in with a little bit of brown here, some raw umber. Just to kind of make my sand a little less yellowy and a little more brownish, golden brown. I can't wait to go to the beach, you guys. Like, I mean, I'm not going like anxiously now, but once things kind of like get back to normal, I'm really going to enjoy like outside time with the kids. All right, so now we have more of a sandy look. There are some tiny little um, rocks on here. Yeah, they're like chalks, but they're fine artist quality chalks. So I have some little like, these are like little, they almost look like eyeshadow um, brushes, blenders. These guys. And you can pick these up from Blue Night Rubber Stamps too. I'm going to go in with a little bit of like a dark brown, dark brown. Um, and just kind of fill in my rocks. You can do gray, whatever you got. All right, let me go in and do my tree. Yeah, it's similar to makeup sponges. Yep, yep, I have a link for Spellbinders I'll put for you guys. So I'm going to go in with some, what is this called? Burnt Sienna. And it's just like any other coloring we do. I like, I tend to go more towards color pencils and these pan pastels because to me, they're mistake proof. They kind of blend themselves. All I need to do is just put the color down. Like I feel like a little kid, I just have to stay within the lines and put the color down. And then anywhere I feel like, okay, it needs to be darker, I add more color. And anywhere it needs to be lighter, I take an eraser and I erase some of the color just lift it away where with markers it's a little more difficult to do that there's more blending involved with markers um you know if you kind of make a mistake you have to kind of figure out how you gotta to get around that And, you know, honestly, Blue Night River Stamps makes very easy to color stamps. I think Tracy would agree with me on that. They're just very easy to color. They're very simple, even though they look very detailed. They're very easy. Okay, so now I'm going to go with some gray. We'll do our little seagull here. I have two colors of gray. Payne's gray and neutral gray. Let me do the Payne's gray real lightly on the bird. And then I'll do the neutral gray on his wing and then we'll go and lighten that up. And I'm going to do a little bit of green on our little, well I guess it wouldn't be green. What are these little uh, beach grasses? They're more like tan, right? They're not really green. They're like dried up and tan. Here we go. Do 
You know, Jan, I thought about that foiling the cover sheet. <laughs> I never did it, but I imagine you could. So you'll see, even though I'm coloring over the stamped areas, we're going to put that detail back in. So just at this point, I'm just kind of laying the color down. Okay, so very simple coloring. Now I'm going to go in with my little eraser. And anywhere that I kind of went out of the lines or um, it's just too much, I'm just going to go in. Oh, yeah, you just barely touch with this thing. Wow. This is cool. This is nice. I like this. And it's not smudging it, it's definitely erasing it. Some erasers kind of just make everything worse. <laughs> I feel like it's magic. I'm very easily entertained over this eraser. <laughs> and then if you want to use your little brushy tool, I put that away. Just like <sighs> this is cool. Okay, and then yes, who brought up the cloud stencil? Yes, yes, yes. So the cloud stencil, let me grab some cloud colors. Now remember, you don't always have to use blue. I often like the pink, orange, red skies. And since this image is kind of, I mean, very neutral with the neutral colors, I'm going to go in with some orange and pink in this sky. It wouldn't let us put blue night rubber stamps on here? Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, it does sound like a tiny little weed whacker. All right, so I'm just going to grab some orange. And I like to pull down on my stencil. And by the way, I never clean my sponges. I just take a little paper towel. These have never been washed. You just take a little paper towel. And you just pull down on the paper towel and it lifts off any extra color. So I use the same, like this is always my red and orange sponge. I have a blue and a green sponge, you know? So, all right, so um, bear with me here because this is going to look like a little bit of a hot mess, but it will come together. And it's a very little tap of color. You don't need to add a lot. So and then I move my stencil over and move it down so that the valleys touch the hills and the hills touch the valleys. So then I pull down again. I leave a little bit of white space there and pull down. Move it over, move it down, pull down. And then I want to start to add a little bit of magenta or the pink. So I just have a little bit of that. I can tap some extra off. Same thing, kind of move my stencils. Trying to be careful. I don't want to give the pink the bird a pink head. And then same thing. Move down. And when I get to the bird, I just kind of go around him. You could mask it off if you're afraid you're going to hit it. 
And then one more time, move the stencil over. All right, so now we have like this pinky orangey sky going on. And hi, Leanne, I snuck on, honey. All right, now what I want to do is I want to take some blender and you always want to add colorless blender, okay? Colorless blender is just kind of like a magic setting finish, you know? So here's colorless blender. And you just take a clean sponge. You could even use the same sponge, just need to make sure that you wipe it off. Leanne, post the picture in our group so we can see it. Red-headed seagull, right? <laughs> I never wash them, ever. <laughs> I just take a little paper towel to them and then they're fine. All right, so. That little fuzzies from the paper towel. All right, then you're going to dip into your colorless blender. You don't need very much. And I like to swipe upwards. And as I do that, what will happen is it will blend all of the harshness into softer lines. It'll blend the colors. And then our sky truly looks like this kind of like sunset sky. Try not to make a redheaded seagull in here. But look how easy it is to make that. And that's pretty much done. Now, what happens sometimes is we lose some of the dimension. I do want to add a little green in here. Hold on. I just was looking over and saw the green and was like, yeah, I need a little green. Just a little bit. All right, that really like adds a pop of color there. So now we're done with the pan pastels. I'm pretty happy with the way everything looks. You can combine pan pastels with your other mediums. So if you want to use, was it Elizabeth saying she uses the um, stick pastels? You can use those. Um, if you have chalk pencils, you can use those. So you can add a little bit more dimension to um, this image. by adding the chalk pencils. Now, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna leave this one alone and I'll show you guys how I finish them off. And I've done, if you go back and look at my Blue Knight Rubber Stamps playlist, I've done several videos with the pan pastels just because they are so easy um, to use, easy to blend, and they really, they make me feel like I'm a good artist, even though I'm just like you guys. So I'm just learning. Pan pastels have been around for a very long time for professional artists. All right, so now I'm going to take my purple tape off here. It did its purpose and it protected my little sticky grid. And because I left this on my little laminated sheet, I can just put this back in the bottom corner here because this is a red rubber stamp. I don't want the foam in there. Okay, so that's not gonna go anywhere. And I'm gonna re-stamp my image. So what it's gonna do is, not only is my image gonna pop, but it's gonna have all of that detail back put back into it, right? So I actually want to erase my red-headed seagull because I do want it to be white.
I want to leave him with some of that color, just I didn't want as much color on there. So then we go back in and re-ink our stamp. Again, I'm using the Versamark Claire in black. I just like how deep dark black it is. And this is just going to add it back. So look at it now. Hopefully I have it lined up correctly. <laughs> I love the cardinal one, Yolanda, yeah. And now I've re-stamped him. I don't need to stamp him again, but he doesn't look like he was colored with chalks. So see how those colors are still there. He's dimension popped out. So then to set it, if you wanna put a sentiment on there, you'd put your sentiment on now. And then I have these little spray boxes. And there's two sprays. Um, this one's Krylon Shortcuts, which you can pick up at like Michael's. This one's clear gloss. There we go. And then this is a full size Krylon matte finish, which is a bigger it's just spray paint, guys. It's just clear spray paint. Elizabeth, you want me to make that this week's challenge? I'll do that. Let's make that this week's challenge. I'll put I'll put it up there. Okay, and then you do want to do this in a well-ventilated area. A couple squirts, just like you would do with hairspray, and that's all. Ew, my bottle is oozy. I got some drippity drips. No. Well, they should dry clear, so we'll be okay. And then that's it, and then I post it. I got drips from my spray paint. So they're very easy to do. Otherwise, it does rub off. Yes, Tracy's correct. If you don't set it, it will rub off. It's a chalk. Right. Yeah, you can. <laughs> if you don't have Krypton. <laughs> uh, yes, you can use hairspray if you don't have the Krylon spray. Yes. I think I'll submit that as one of my design team cards. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Let me pull the little thing off of there. Where is that? Uh, something stuck on there. Always happens. All right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, you do want to set it because otherwise it will rub off. Other things will interfere with it. So you just kind of want to make sure. Doesn't he look like it's the end of the day? He just got done stealing some kid's sandwich and he's pretty happy. <laughs> Did you hear that the Paper Wizard and Queen and Company pulled out of the stamp and scrapbook shows? Well, that's their loss. They are hurting their own company. They should be supporting each other. Pan pastels, in my opinion, are easier and they're much easier to clean up. 
Like, all I got to do when I have this is just go wash my hands. It's not staining like ink is. You know, you just use paper towels. I'm done with the sponges. I put the lids back on. You don't have to keep, by the way, um, Sunshine had asked, you know, do we have to keep the lids on here? You don't have to keep the lids. They they come with these trays from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. If you get the big ones and there's like seven in here, you can just keep them in here. They don't dry out. You don't have to worry about any of that. And if you happen to crack one or dry one, uh, drop one, you mix it with alcohol and it will get back into a palette and then the alcohol will um, evaporate. So I'll link for you guys where to get this stuff. So I'll link the Arteza stuff and I'll link this stuff. So And then I will put on our Facebook group, like Elizabeth said, a little, let me see your pan pastels. Um, I'll put a little blurb on there and we'll put them on there. Like I said, the, if you have any kind of scenic stamps, they just make it easy. And um, Blue Night Rubber stamps are just very easy to color. Do I have the Arteza chalk markers? Not yet. Is that something you want me to try? I will try it. Yeah, but I thought they postponed the dates, that they were going to postpone um, those shows. Like, they're not canceled, canceled. Like, the one for Allentown is now going to be at the end of July, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. The sponges are called Soft, S-O-F-F-T, and there's a makeup brand called Ecoline Makeup Sponges. They also work well. Yeah, so um, I'll show you guys again the new stamps in case you missed it. I think there was, I think there's 10... I think there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 new stamps in the Blue Night Rubber Stamps new release. Let me show them to you. I will gladly share with you guys. Hold on. Really, Bernie? I wonder if it's the same company. These are the brand, brand new ones, Laura. I just got them. Oh, can't put this back in its baggie. There we go. Okay. Well, the reason I got them is because um, I'm on the design team, so I have to do four cards for May, which I've already done, four for June, and four for July. So I got all 12 so that I can demonstrate them for you guys. So the ones that I got for May, and I didn't read my assignments yet, but here we go. This one is called Footbridge. I think this one already went live last week, so you guys can see it. But this is really nice. Um... I did color one of these with pan pastels and the chalks. I think I, that video went live last week um, on Thursday. But it comes with a large sailboat and a small sailboat, a medium-sized duck, and a small-sized duck, so like a flock of ducks there. So there you can see the little individual stamps. This one is called Reeds and Ducks, and I actually use these two together. With Reeds and Ducks, you get large ducks. So you get large, medium, and small ducks if you get both of these sets. And this one has five sets of reeds. So they're individual reeds. Great accent piece. So you get two large ones, two medium ones, and one in the center. Yeah, if you buy both, you'll have all the ducks. Um, this one is called Wetlands, and for this one, I think I did an alcohol, don't quote me on that, I think I did alcohol markers, but, oh, excuse me, I did, um, 
shimmer markers and it came out amazing with the shimmer markers. So keep an eye out for that video. Um, this one, I think is the video that went up this week. If you saw it went up two nights ago. Um, the, um, video went out two nights ago, Thursday night on blue night rubber stamps, but it's, um, I'm trying to read the comments and they're going so fast. If you want what Bonnie, what do you want? I didn't see what Bonnie was asking me there. I missed Bonnie's question. Um, but this one's called Winter Cardinals, and I did a winter and a spring scene with this one. And the winter one, I did my first ever easel card. So I had a lot of fun with that one. If you can get to the stamp show... Um, oftentimes she does show specials where it's you buy five, you get the sixth one free or something like that. If you can get to the stamp shows. So, um, yeah. All right. So this one is called Lily Pond and this is a big, beautiful pond. And then it has two frogs, a solid frog and an outline frog. And then it has a little butterfly and a dragonfly already into the scene. So I'm thinking I, I will have fun with this one if I do like a water coloring scene on this one. So I'm going to try this one out. I think I'm going to do this one with my new Karen markers that you guys sent me. All right, here's the one you just saw. This is called Seagulls and Driftwood. Um, this one I'm excited to do. This one's called Rainy Days. And I noticed this kind of rainy silhouette umbrella has been very popular. I think I've seen like three stamp companies do this one now. So I like this one. And I said I want to do, what was it? The J Jakarta trees in Australia are purple. So I want to do this. And then I want to stamp like purple... I don't know. I'll figure it out how to do purple paint or something on here. Maybe I'll use some Arteza metallic gouache or something like that and make purple trees. Oh, Laura Ann, honey, you need to cut it up. <laughs> All right. This is meadow and mountain. And I said this one reminds me of The Sound of Music, but this is really easy to color. Although it looks like there's a lot, you guys, there's not a lot to this. The sky is an option. Of course, you can go in and do blue or you can do white or you can leave it alone. You're going to color the mountain gray. You're going to color the water blue and that's it. And then you're just going to go in and color your flowers. So there's not a lot to color here, but it looks like there's so much going on, right? Yeah, uh, no, thank you. Bye. Oops, Caroline, I accidentally deleted your message. You're gonna have to put that back on. I missed it. Oh, man, hold on. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I accidentally hit the wrong button with these nails. Okay, you're good now, Caroline. Sorry. Um, anyway, Meadow and Mountains reminds me of Maria and the Sound of Music. This one is... Which Barney? Somebody said, can I send you something with an envelope? And I didn't understand what it was. Oh, bees would be good. Yes, that's a good idea, Margaret. Um, but this one's called Flamingos and Wild Grass. And again, this is a separate set where the wild grass is separate from the flamingos. So you could even use this set with like the ducks. So I can put the, oh, I'm going to put the flamingos in the pond, you guys. 
Yeah, see, we're coming up with ideas here. But you could put like the, the little reeds in, in front here from the duck set. Oh, we're gonna put those flamingos in the pond for sure. That's gonna be cool. I think it was the other Bonnie, yeah. All right, this one is called Winter Farmland. So remember yesterday when I was talking about um, Brutus Monroe's, um, what do you call it, embossing powder? This will make a good, I call it a full scene snow set. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm not tired. I don't know why I'm yawning. Um, but you can color this image in with like Copic markers, something bright. And then you cover the whole thing in Versamark and cover it in Brutus Monroe embossing powder. And then it looks like you're looking at a snowstorm, like you're looking through this snowy scene. It's so beautiful. So I'm definitely going to do that on here. And I will record videos for you guys to watch along. So if you're looking for tutorial videos on how to color these images and how to do cards, check out my Blue Night Rubber Stamps playlist. So if you guys have never checked out my playlist, it kind of categorizes everything based on the mood you're on. So if you want to see Leah videos, there's a Leah playlist. If you want to see videos on using the Silhouette Machine, there's a Silhouette playlist. If you want to see hot stamping with the Spellbinders or the hot foil, uh, foil press, you can see that. If you want to see Blue Night Rubber Stamps and coloring with Pan Pastels, you can see that. So check out my playlists so you'll have plenty on there to watch. Is it? Well, I don't feel like it is, though. Um, oh, this one's so cute. This is called Happy Hedgehog. Live simple, love well, and take time to smell the flowers along the way. Mark Twain. The sentiment is separate from the stamp. So you can just be like, hi, miss ya, happy birthday, thinking of you, smell the blooms, whatever you want to put on there. But he is so stinking adorable, right? So cute. And then the last one is for any good book lover or tea lover. Reading a good book is like falling in love. Be you tea full, right? So the sentiments are both separate. But look at these like classic looking books. These are going to be, I think, colored in with, for me with um, color pencils will look nice. Even cutting this out and doing um, paper piercing would look nice on on this one. Harold the Hedgehog. I think it's because I didn't get my sugar snacks tonight. <laughs> so these are all from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. You don't need to do anything special for me on them. Just go on over and you can say in your notes, Nancy the Enabler sent me. She'll know. She sent me a text the other night. She goes, what are you doing? Why are everybody ordering my cloud stencils and the magnetic handles? <laughs> I'm like, oh, we just did a little video. <laughs> Three leaf clover on the hedgehog stamp. Let me see. Yep. Yep. There, 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 there. He would be cute with the little bunny. If you've seen the bunny from Blue Night Rubber Stamps, it'd be cute to put them together. Well, they're all brand new. They're not going to sell out. You can just buy two at a time. You know, and like I said, if you can get to one of the stamp shows, she does ship internationally. I do not know how much the cost of shipping is internationally. Where is the Jamie link? What's the Jamie link? Yes, a lot of potential. I think if you get three uh, magnet handles, that's plenty because the three stamps that I have most used on my desk are... Um, well, it's these three here. Ouch, just got burned by the light bulb. Um, 
these are the three that I use a Copic ink, which right now I've switched to Blue Knight. I mean, I've switched to Brutus Monroe, but this was my go-to Copic ink before that, right? And then my Versamark ink and my Versafine. So these three are like always right in front of me. So you want to count, you know, how many ink pads you have that are your like most reach for ink pads. And then those are the ones that you want to put handles on. Now, I've been starting to incorporate um, archival inks now. I've been using those a little bit more. Um, so, you know, having three or four extra of these little magnetic plates help out. And, you know, you use them forever because even if the ink dries out, you guys know we, we re-ink them. So... There we go. I wouldn't, at this point, Spectrum Noir is the only one that doesn't have a refill, right? And she's working on, like I said, she's in, in the works to do the, the oval-shaped ones. Where is my Spectrum Noir ink pad? I lost it. Um, so the Spectrum Noir ones, because they don't have refills, re-inkers for them, I don't know that I would put one on that one yet until they come out with a re-inker. But Catherine Pooler is an oval-shaped one. Altenew is an oval-shaped one. And they're gonna have um, oval-shaped ones, so that'll help with re-inkers. I lost my Spectrum Noir ink pad. Whoops. Let's see. Oh, I see it. It's in with my Altenew inks. I have not tried Simon Hurley's stamps or inks yet. Not yet. Yeah, Catherine Pooler, all to new. Let me just show you guys. Here we go. So she's working on this system for us because Altenew, um, Spectrum Noir, and Catherine Pooler. Spectrum Noir and Catherine Pooler use the same ink um, system. So if it fits one, it'll fit the other. The only difference is one's white and one's black. And then Altenews are a little wider. So if it's going to fit in here, it will fit in here. And she's going to have to make a new base because this has a little lip to it. So if she gets it to work, I would say definitely put it on your Altenew and your Catherine Poolers. I don't know that I would put them on these because there's no re-inker for these. So if you put a magnetic plate on here, you're going to have to either remove that when you go to throw this ink pad away. I only have like three Catherine Pooler inks. <laughs> Late to the party, went back to, oh, hi, Carlin. They're already in the shop. Okay, I think she's doing pre-orders maybe. Caroline needs a link to the not too shabby shop. Okay, I will link that. Okay, I will get her that. List of your layering colors from Altenew. Yes, Laura Ann, I will link all of the mini inks that I use. Yes. Oh, Diana, you got the oval ones? Quilling pens for the Cricut machine. You mean the foil quill pens? Yeah, I use the foil quill pens in Baby Joy. You'll have to go back, Jody, and watch the video on Cricut Joy. And I put on there using the foil quill in Baby Joy. Diana, she told me she was still working on them. So if you have them, that's awesome. I'm just going to have to tell her to send me some. I should, Stacy. I just have the, the affiliate links on there. Man, if I did one for my most used items, it'd be 23 pages long, you guys. Uh, yeah, it actually worked for me, Jody. I made a card. Hold on. Okay, 
Okay, so we did this one, Jody. Hold on, I'll show you the other one I did. Actually, I think I just put it in one of the winner's boxes. Hold it, please. Let me find it for you. Okay, so here we go. Um, this was an image I got from Creative Fabrica. It's their watercolor wreaths. So I printed it on my printer and then um, used the foil quill to do this. Now I did this one with my silhouette machine because I was able to line it up. But you can see how the foil quill outlined those flowers. So I used the foil quill with the silhouette on this one. So it's really easy to do once you print the registration marks. Um, you just print and then you trace an outline. And then instead of cutting, you just have the foil quill trace over it. It was really easy to do. And then this one we did with Baby Joy. I just um, cut the card out with Baby Joy. But then on the inside, um, this is with the foil quill through the Baby Joy. I don't know if it's going to shine so you can see that it's foil. But that is foil quill foil there. So I have done it in the silhouette and the uh, cricket. Baby joy. Cricket joy. Uh, what happened? Uh, is it allergies, Candace? How do I store my mounted stamps, Noel? I have very few mounted stamps, Noel. Most of them I have here, I'll show you, on a little wooden thing I found on eBay. Hold on. I'll give you a little tour. Okay, so that's how most of my wooden stamps are stored. So you can see them there. I don't have a lot of wooden ones. I stopped buying wooden ones and started buying unmounted ones so that I could um, so I could um, make space for the other ones. So everything else is kind of like in these. So like here happens to be a set of wooden ones because I put them, this is my beach basket. But the majority of these are unmounted stamps that are clear in these little baskets for me. So I don't have very many wooden ones. I do have some older wooden ones. I'll show you where they're at. I don't use them very often. Like I really have to think about them to remember that they're over here. But for the most part, my stamps are unmounted. And I don't know if I told you guys, I got final approval for Impression Obsession. So these are all of my background stamps. Look, you guys, the majority of these are Impression Obsession background stamps. So if you've never seen Impression Obsession stamps, I have an obsession with Impression Obsession. So the majority of those are Impression Obsession background stamps. Um, and some Hero Arts ones. So I will be doing some shows with those. Oh, no problem, Jody. I'm here to help everybody. All right. <laughs> Bonnie, you know you can email me, honey. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is 11-11. I don't hear my daughter moving around, which tells me she might be asleep on the couch. So let me go get her in bed. I want to thank you guys all again for your support and your kind words. 
Um, you can pick up these stamps from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. It's bluenightrubberstamps.com. You don't need any special code or affiliate link. You can shop all you want over there. I would just recommend make sure you pick up the magnetic handles and pick up the cloud stencils. And Diana says the oval ones are there, which if they are, I didn't get them, so I'm just going to have to order some. Um... Bernie, it is the one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. So the 25 unit, 25 unit. It was a pain in the butt to put together. I will say that it is super heavy. The sale ended yesterday. So I will link, what do you guys need me to link? You need me to link these. You need me to link pan pastels. You need me to link the eraser. You want me to link the Arteza stuff. Right. And all to new mini inks. Is that everything you guys needed for tonight? You only live once. Might as well live it up and have some crafty fun. Making happy people. Yep, I will, I'll link them because that was from Spellbinder, so that was a different set. So I'll link the two Blue Knight rubber stamp sets, and then I'll link the Spellbinder set. <laughs> Tina needed, okay, what did you need, Tina? Whatever, 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 whatever. I'm trying to see the comments here. All to new inks. I'm going to put one of those up. See, I remember by taking this stuff to the desk. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. How to do reverse images. Ooh, Tina. Let me write that one down. Hold on. I have a little paper here that I write down ideas that you guys give me. Okay, I wrote it down, Tina. Yes, I'm going to link all the Arteza goodies right now. I'm going to go right over to the computer when we're done. So I can go put Miss Leah to bed. Oh, yeah, Laura said the chalk Arteza markers. I had the acrylic markers, and I really like the acry acrylic markers. What happens is, so this is how it works with Arteza. Chalk Arteza. Arteza sends me product. They say, can you do a video on this product? I say, sure. Then I have an affiliate link, and if they don't see so much in sales or interest in those products from my affiliate links, then they don't send me stuff. And then they reach out to me like three to six months later, and they say, hey, Nance, would you like to try some more stuff? So the more we use the affiliate links, the more stuff I get to try. They send me free stuff. Thank you guys for the conversation. Again, thank you guys for the support. I didn't mean to take it out on everybody. I know it was just a couple of people. And again, I'm not inhuman. If you guys have something you want to talk to me about, I get it. Don't hesitate to email me or, um, you know, PM me. Um, it just makes everybody uncomfortable when people are kind of whispering, you know, behind the back. So, you know, if you got an issue, let me know. I am not opposed to thinking outside the box. I just know that when we're doing chats, you can't randomly pick somebody. So, you know, we'll do giveaways if it's better for you guys to have the, the uh, random picker after the videos. We can do that. Oh, it's okay, Laura. Lynn takes very good care of me. I love her. Don't worry about it. I hope not, Jennifer. There's too many good people in there. Thanks, Chow. All right, guys. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to go put all these things on. Give me about a half an hour. You should see them. If you don't see something, send me an email. Send me a PM. Oh, these were sold out. That's why I couldn't link them on yesterday's video. 
They were sold out. And remember, I told you guys I ordered these things like two months ago and they just showed up. So they're sold out. So I did put the link on there. You're just going to have to go back and keep checking it. But it is sold out right now. Stay safe, everybody. Again, virtual hugs. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the support. And I want to see your pan pastel creations or chalk creations or chalk pencil, whatever you got, on our Facebook group. I'll create a little link and you guys can post them on there. Okay. Good night, guys.